Hey, what's up guys, Arav here, and welcome back to the episode of my F1 2020 managed career mode here with McLaren and the very first episode and debut of Kimi Raikkonen returning to McLaren alongside Carlos Sainz. If you have missed the previous episode, then be sure to go check that one out to see the whole aftermath and the decision that was made here, but we're here for round number six then in season two for the Canadian GP, and Raikkonen is back in McLaren. Loving that look. Uh, at the moment as well, we've also gone ahead and tried try to uh, get a brand new engineer here because we've actually had a free agent here this Portuguese man Alex uh, Barbosa um, he's a free agent so I could pick him up he doesn't want too high wages although it's going to be higher than the default because obviously these two started with McLaren always the starting mechanics have such a low wage compared to what you eventually have to pay if you sign on people but he's going to be nearly five stars an upgrade on Tom Stallard here uh, you know obviously you're faithful to McLaren but I think to partner up a five star with Raikkonen would really make sure both drivers are in the best bet uh, in the best seat here so gone for that hopefully we'll hear back from him pretty soon but let's go through the mail then and see what's what here so uh, well, uh in terms of an interview off the back of that last one let's get straight to it you chose to get rid of Norris why um I'm gonna say uh, yeah, I, this is, I'm in two minds to tell the truth, because obviously I did want to kind of keep him for the sake of the whole good feel McLaren thing, but at the same time, I'm pretty happy with Raikkonen also returning to McLaren, so change of, a uh, ch change felt like a good idea, and have you lined up any, obviously this email came in uh, before I signed Raikkonen. Um, so I, I'll say that, but obviously I've resigned them. Uh, we've got a pit crew review. That was all fine, hopefully. Um, yeah, mistake free. Okay, awesome. Right, front wing has been now been built. That's great. Uh, yeah, Norris been fired. Raikkonen hired. Awesome. And then there we go. That's the news that we have picked up. Raikkonen for McLaren there. Um, and it's going to be a region of uh, wages, a region of uh, 18 million uh, per year because it is obviously uh, quite a high wage of what is it like 1.1. Million, so we're paying him a lot there, paying him more than uh, science here. So I'm hoping that he, he comes through for us. But anyway, front wing is being made up to P4 now. We are with the front wing. What have we got coming up in terms of that's going to be important there? We, uh, front wing is going to be crucial. High speed as well, though, unfortunately, as well for us. Uh, medium speed, medium speed, then high. So I'd say maybe suspension is somewhere where we might want to look at now. Designing a new part, trying to improve that. Um, so let's see. Plus 25 to max there. Let's just go for that. I'll get done eight days before the Grand Prix. So we can get two iterations done then for the suspension. I'm liking this. These small improvements to hopefully just bring the car forward in every kind of direction, basically. Uh, we've got mail here. Alfa Romeo. Sign McLaren. So basically, I stole Raikkonen off Alfa Romeo. And McLaren straight up just replaced... Uh, him with Norris there. So uh, that's going to be an eight, a tidy deal of 8 million per year. So Alfa Romeo now, their main drivers are Ericsson and Norris. And they still have Leclerc as a, as a reserve driver for some reason. I don't know why they don't have Leclerc and Norris as the main drivers and Ericsson as the, as, the, as the reserve. But there you go. That's just how it works, basically. Uh, we'll move forward then as the car repair is done. I want to actually check out these new parts. Right, so front wing there. That's uh, equal best front wing, actually. So we'll take that off, add that on. Uh, I want to improve these two as well. What have we got close to finishing? These brakes are close to finishing, so I'll remove that. Engines one point off, so I'm going to add those two on. Um, is anything else close? No, not really. So we're going to continue to plow on with that. 70% uh, reliability means it's actually pretty much the same as we've had, really. So I, need to, I don't actually need to worry about reliability uh, too much here. So that's going to go 30 to 5 or even more, maybe. I don't know. It's a lot of upgrading to do, I guess. So that's why I was saying 43 days after the Grand Prix. So let's move forward then. Pit crew, let's have a little gander. This guy's burnt out, so we're going to have to fire him, unfortunately. Um, so who do we lose there? We lost a fixing guy, I think that was. Um, so let's hire someone who's good at fixing here. Uh, so who's a bit more... This guy's got a rear jack as well, so I think I'll hire him because he's got... He, he can do both there. So we'll swap him in straight away. Although we already had... Ah, we already had one though. I didn't know that. Although this guy's on rear jack as well, so that's also a thing to, to, to focus on. 0 0.2. I reckon we could swap him out. Yeah. Um, who else? No, all of you guys need a rest here. So this is going to be a bit of a rest weekend, I guess, for this pit crew team as we swap them all out um, for guys with lower percentages here. Uh, and a 0 0.4. I think I have to, I'm going to have to put in a 0 0.4. Am I not? Or no? No, we're all good. All level 18. That's fine. No, cancel that. We're all good. All, uh, we're all level 18 and we're all under 1% uh, at least. So that's, that's fine by me. So in terms of the highs, 
I'm going to reject all of these guys then, and we will move swiftly on then towards, well, first of all, the suspension being built, and then we've also got the, um, uh, the engineer mechanic we want to try and sign, but here we go. Suspension done, we'll build another one, and that will get done hopefully before the next race as well. Plus two build time, Ugh. That's 1104, that's 109, and then that's a risk level. Um, I would probably, I'm going to go for that, even though it's going to get done three days after the Grand Prix. That is the best part to make, so it, it makes more sense long term, even though short term, I'd love to have another suspension come in, but that's just how the way it goes. But this new suspension already is the best one we've got, so that's decent enough. I need to add that to reliability, though. Uh, what can I take off? The... Front wing here is okay, I think. So let's add that on there. Um, and actually, to be honest, to get that up enough. Well, that's 67, so that should hopefully get to 70 by the time we get to the race, hopefully. So we'll just take a risk there. Um, in terms of the report on the race, we've got a 40% chance of rain. So definitely some some chance of some, uh, of some precipitation is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, contract renegotiation. Okay, he doesn't actually like that for some reason. What? You said wages aren't important to you. What? That makes no sense, mate. Right, okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to remove all of this. And then just try and get... Uh, well, what do you want? If they're not important to you... Um, I did that. So perhaps 210 is going to be good enough for you. He's, he's He was insulted by that. But I think too... You know, he said not important. So usually that's fine. Um, so let's go for that then. Let's see. Will he... Uh, and we won't get him, unfortunately. He'll uh, come back to us literally on the race day. So, unfortunately, we won't be starting with this man, with Raikkonen. We'll be starting with uh, Stallard, still with Raikkonen. But that's okay. We can wait a little bit. Just unfortunately, I really thought that because it said it wasn't important. Usually on the game, you can just kind of lowball them if it's not important. To them, but, uh, oh, well. Anyway, here we go then. Tire wear is going to be high. So, take in plenty of ultras and then plenty of soft tires. I'm thinking six apiece, really, here. And then two supers... Let's go for one more ultra since it's going to be raining, maybe. Uh, in terms of fit parts, then, right, let's have a gander here. Going to give, give them equal measuring here as much as I can, basically. So I'll keep Science with the better engine, Raikkonen with this engine. I'll give Raikkonen this front wing and upgrade Science to this one. There's not too much difference between these two fr uh, front wings. Same thing with the gearbox. Um... I'll give uh, Science that one. Same rear wing. I'll give Raikkonen a bit of the suspension. Science will stick with this one. And that's going to mean that he's content and he's happy. So that's pretty good. Uh, he's a little bit annoyed against the other car. I don't know. If I switch maybe these two around the brakes, will that make a big enough difference? 4%. 7%. They're still pretty happy, actually. Both, that's actually the perfect fitting there. They're both happy of having a car against each other and then they're kind of both happy about the car in general so i think that's a that's a good a good happy balance for both of them right practice apparently it's gonna be all clear but let's see if that 40 percent comes in but i am very excited for this race weekend just to see how raikkonen does uh for us hopefully that uh experience can come in and uh hopefully he's not gonna crash uh this is when he does and it all blows up in my face doesn't it right so the first practice session then for raikkonen he's actually got the same feedback level as science actually so that's not really much of an improvement for the team um but that wasn't really an area i was really looking at to be honest it's more sort of just the actual practical race uh when it comes to the sunday here so we'll send them out um no rain it seems like on track right now in practice so don't know, maybe that 40 set might come in in quality and race and it'll just be a span of the works, I guess, kind of like it was at Cape Town then. So let's just move forward then and stick to the program. Um, in terms of lap time, is it going to be a short? I, can't, I literally can never remember what the lap times are for each circuit in terms of how short they are. So let's see what it's going to be like and if we can get all three levels done or it'll be more of a level two and level three kind of vibe for one of the things. Uh, across the line, one to, yeah, I would say definitely, I think, level two and then level three. Um, we'll try and get level two on the ultras in the quali and then level three in race trim and the softs. Or maybe level 3 in ultras, because if it does rain, it would be useful. But then again, Canada is so high on tire weight. It's so high. I always remember that. It's so difficult to even use the ultras um, in, in any kind of long stint way. So I think we'll just stick with the soft tire, really, and try and just play the long game when it comes to race, hopefully. Um, either way, if it does rain or not. 
Right, we've moved through to the end of their stint. They'll get level two. So, as per usual, perfect timing here with a four lap stint to get the two levels done. We'll now move over to quality and then we'll finish off the race trim at the end of the session. But let's check out these setups then. One excellent, okay, and great. Raikkonen, kind of, uh, he's kind of just uh, mediocrely average there with that setup. So, science, a little bit of tweaking needed. 88% downforce wise, though, perfect there. Handling, not so much. I'm going to say. Well, actually, that's very tough to call which way he wants to go uh, with both things, really. Um, let me quickly check Reich and let's see what he's saying. And that might give us a little inkling and insight into things. Um, with him, definitely going to go lower downforce because I think we're running lower with sights. Um, so let's see about that. And then handling-wise is good here. So, I don't know, more towards oversteer potentially and then speed balance not liking that so okay let's go towards top end speed then um let's try that out for size quality trim three laps onto ultras and then with science then with a the handling well Riken wants more oversteer so i'm gonna go for oversteer with him as well even though the bar seems a little bit longer that way let's just try that out and then speed balance wise not too sure um even longer or shorter because we've got a lot of downforce there actually so maybe just a little click towards acceleration. Let's try that out. Probably going to be wrong, but let's just see. You're going to have to go for it anyway, but uh, I'll keep them out for all three laps just to get the uh, quality knowledge done as well. And then we'll check the setup afterwards. But looking pretty good in terms of pace there, I would say, with Sainz. Raikkonen a little bit off the pace again. Um, but that might just be, that really much just must be the engine, to be honest. So I need to maybe make another engine to equalize. All right, Sainz back in. Check the setup and send them straight back out for another quality stint. Two excellence and a great. That's perfect. Right, going to go for a two laps quality. That should be enough, I think. And then Raikkonen, let's check you, mate. What are you saying? Uh, not so much the other way. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay, handling, not great. Um, so you don't want oversteer. You want understeer, then, it would seem. Or no. Um, that's poor. That's good. So I'm going to say, let's go that way then. That's probably where you want to be. So a bit of a difference to science. Downforce-wise, we're better. So maybe go even lower. Just one more click like that. And then that was good. That was okay. So maybe somewhere, I don't know, in the middle potentially, I think. I think rather than going... Oh, or just keep going high end. Just go there. I don't know. Let's see that. Um, that handling's quite extreme. So let's bring that back one click. Uh, quality, two laps, ultra, go. All right, practice ended. We've got level three on softs and race. Two on the ultra and quality like we planned, basically. Setup-wise, don't know, because um, Raikkonen was still... I was still fiddling with this setup right until the end there, so we're going to have to see once we go into quality, really. Might need to do some further tweaks there, so a little bit frustrating to try and fine-tune that for him. But uh, pace-wise, P3-5, looking, looking okay, but that 7-10th golf there, Hamilton's looking pretty strong at the team again. All right, quali, uh, obviously taking ultra and the uh, quali trim, but let's see, setup wise, please. Okay, that's better, two grades and one excellent, I'll take that. What percentage is that? 95, that's pretty decent actually, 95, 98, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'm happy with that. So take quali, Q1, um, should get through on, on, on supers to be honest, so let's just uh, send them out. One lap easy and just uh, move on to Q2 really swiftly, I think. All right, pace-wise at the end of Q1, P6, P10. So Raikkonen is struggling a little bit there in 10th place. So I think that kind of shows the, the difference in the car really as well. Um, but I have more faith in Raikkonen to not crash in the race, which is a start. And also I have faith that he'll pull that gap a little bit as well. All right, send them both out. I think I'm going to maybe do two runs here in Q2 just to try and see... If we can speed things up here, maybe also get Raikkonen a bit more track time. Because I, I, I don't know, you know, obviously these guys, um, when we get in the pits, they always say on the in the game, uh, team radio, that we want to go out again. So see if that maybe does anything to improve and bed in the car, I guess, for Raikkonen. But um, in terms of rain, nothing to be seen here in Q2, so that's all fine. But let's see what this first lap time is like on ultras then. Four tenths off. You can see they're right a little bit closer now. Two sides, which is good to see. Uh, where are Ferrari? There you go. Vettel comes through. Ooh, that is uh, electric pace there from Ferrari and Mercedes, really, to be honest. And it looks like uh, we're kind of a little bit adrift a tad. But to be fair, Ricard is bridging that gap a little bit. A uh, little two tenths hop from four tenths to six to eight. And then quite close, one tenth. Very, very close between Schilt and Raikkonen. Um, yeah, I'm going to send out Raikkonen again. Uh, and actually, science, you know... Um, because why not? Why not? Uh, we've got the tyres for it. Because I'm not going to use more than four in the race, I don't think. So, may as well. Right, there we go. Both improved their lap times. Four tenths, four tenths off. That's pretty good. That's a lot better. That gives me good hope for Q3. 
bring on at the top tour shootout. I think we can aim for a, a good second and third row or both second row. That'd be even better, third and fourth. But second and third row, if we can get three and five in, in, in the next session, I'll be happy with that. I'll take that for the race start. Right, here we go. It is show time then. Going to send them out early on and they'll do two flyers. That leave us with two fresh tyres for the race which I think is fine because we'll definitely have to use softs 100% in the race, especially because I don't think it's going to rain now. I don't think there's no rain at all here. I'll be surprised if it rains tomorrow, but there's a 40% chance, so you never know. But the forecast did say dry, and uh, usually it does bleed over a little bit here and there. Okay, good outlap for Sites. Not so much for Raikkonen, but let's see what the second lap will be like maybe then for Raikkonen. Maybe this one won't be as fast, although it does go purple compared to Sites. Here we go. Two purples compared to Sainz. So he's gone faster than Carlos Sainz Ali. So whatever this is going to be uh, compared to other teams, Raikkonen is going to be ahead of Sainz, I believe. Oh, no. Wow. Last sector. Sainz came through with a purple in the last sector. Fair enough. But both cars looked pretty quick out there. And Sainz, that's a very good lap time right now compared to Hamilton and Ricardo. What's uh, Ferrari saying, though? Vettel comes through. There we go. That's more like it there with Vettel. Four tenths head, but... Okay, interesting. It's quite close in quality there. Raikkonen only needs to gain like two tenths and he's up into P4 or 5. So let's see. Wait till the end when track grip's high and then I'll send them out. And uh, hopefully we can find some space as well on track as well. Uh, looks like there's some space now, you know. Let's work with this now. Let's go as quickly as we can. Send out ultras. Let's go. Right. Sweet stuff. Both of them with a decent amount of space there. Clean air, I hope, as we come through on the top right. Uh, yeah, both have a decent amount of space there. Science and Raikkonen in clean air. It's a white first sector, though, only for science, unfortunately. It's a white... Ah, what is going on here? Track grips are the highest, but both not improving here, which is unfortunate. So I don't know what's going on here. The track's just gone away from us a little. And so we're going to finish up in P3 and finish up in P6. That's really unfortunate. And other people are improving, so Raikkonen may go down the order... Uh, as well as Sainz there. P4, 6, 7. Uh, I think that's it then. P4 and 7. So it's not the 3, 5 I was hoping for there. 4 and 7 though. It's still okay. Raikkonen, he's number 7 on the car. P7. Could that be a lucky uh, omen in the uh, in the race tomorrow? I hope so. But uh, very odd. Odd session. Odd way to end that. We didn't improve at all. Everyone else did. Which is very annoying to see. And it's a 1 2 for Ferrari. They're looking strong. Vettel and Verstappen right up there, which is good news for us. Because if they take points off Mercedes this race with a 1 2, that means there's less points Mercedes are getting away from everyone. So that's kind of a good thing. Uh, hopefully, we get another banging start and Science can jump Hamilton. And Raikkonen can also do the same and get right up there. And the biggest thing is, I'm hoping Raikkonen does not crash like Lando Norris. And so we can actually get some decent haul of points. You know, even a P6 or 5 would do me, to be honest, compared to Norris's P10 or 9 or no points. Um, so, you know, anything's better, really. <laughs> right, no water on track. Doesn't look like there'll be any rain coming that I can see there. So, let's go for, our, uh, not ultras, soft tire knowledge and the race trim here. Because I think we are going to have to go very conservative and try and stretch this. Because this tire will not go very long, will it? Eight to ten laps, yeah. So, how many laps have we got in total? We've got 33. So, probably only going to go eight or seven, let's be real. So... 26 laps left, 13 apiece on soft tires. I think that's doable. I think that's the I think that's the motive here. I think uh, attack mode overtake. All right, boys. First race is a pairing. First race for Raikkonen. Let's do a decent job, lads, and just get some decent points and try and limit the damage here from the top teams. Because at the moment, you know, we clearly don't have a car now anymore to win races. So at this moment in time, we just need to limit damage until we do get a car again that can win races. Hopefully sooner rather than later, later on in this season. Here we go then to five red lights to the Canadian GP from P4 and 7th on the grid. Five red lights are out and we're underway. And it's a decent start from Science. Good one from Kimi getting two places already up into p4 three and four already by the time we get through to the hairpin which is very good stuff and raikkonen sails past science and sails past verstappen and he's into second place hamilton though is unfortunately to p1 both ferraris have bottled it vettel's down to 21st place there what happened to him i think he went off there or something so the man on pole is down in nearly like the the bottom region of the of the race basically raikkonen p2 still two purples science down the inside he goes look at that side by side with Verstappen and he gets him so it's a 
McLaren 2-3 there. So the car, once again, coming alive in the race compared to qualifying there. But can we do anything to catch up to Hamilton? That is the bigger question, really, to be honest, because he's already sailing away a little bit. 1.9 the gap. And Vettel's crashed. Safety car is out. Vettel's crashed. That's horrendous for us, though, because I wanted Ferrari to do well here this race. So, okay, calm things down. I say we pit on. I say we pit in onto, onto soft tyres. 32 laps left. I say we can make a, a one-stop work here. For, basically a free one-stop. Because uh, this pit stop won't count here. So we can make a one-stop work. And soft tyres, I, I say we go for it. Fast pit stop. Science, you come in as well. Fast pit stop. Uh, let's go for it. Save a whole pit stop. Let's go. Right, they both come in. I don't, think, I don't think Hamilton came in, so this is just us risking it here. Double stack for the, for the boys, but it's going to be better than nothing here. So we're out in P6 and 12. A little bit annoying for science, of course, but I hope this can come through and pay its dividends later on. One lap left for the safety car. We'll come out, one-stop it, hopefully try and get a decent, strong podium here. Right, safety car is going to come in, so we're going to go overtake mode. Attack mode and overtake mode as we go through onto the main straight here. Fast forwarding. And here we go. Safety car returning to pit lane. Raikkonen's going to push, obviously, on the soft tyres. I don't know what to expect here. Up in the third already, though. That's good. On the softs, remember. So that's decent. Uh, going to go down to pushing now with him just to calm things down. Because remember, we're trying to stretch this in. So pushing as well for science. We'll keep on overtake mode on the engine. That'll help us overtake some cars up into P5. Maybe four nearly. Come on, science. Come on. P5. The Red Bull comes back and locked up the brace badly for Raikkonen. And he's side by side, neck and neck with Gasly. Chilton keeps it through in P2 for some, uh, or for somehow there. But now Raikkonen overtakes him. Or overta oh, overtakes Gasly, actually. Still not got Chilton for some reason. Come on, man. Come on. Let's get Chilton, please. Closing up. Let's go neutral now because we need to stretch this in. We need to stretch this in. So go high and high. And now we calm things down, to be honest. Eventually, Chilton will pit, of course. But it'd be kind of nicer to get him before he pits. Uh, Hamilton's already moved away six seconds ahead, but I don't know. Will that be enough for him to, to make a pit stop and get ahead of us? I'm not too sure. We'll find out, I guess, because Hamilton, is he going to come in? No, he's not in yet. Oh, no, Hamilton is in. Ricardo's not in. That's the man who I need to worry about. Hamilton, where has he gone? Uh, hang on. Where is he? Where is Hamilton? Hamilton, Hamilton, P8. Okay. Okay. Okay, interesting. Right, let's calm this down then. Let's calm this down very much so. And uh, we need to stretch this to what? Lap. Uh, how long do these go for? Apparently 13 laps. So we're saying, let's be real, probably like 10 laps. 18. Lap 18 or 19. That's what we're aiming for here. Right, sit rep on lap number 10 then. Raikkonen leads the way. Sainz is in second, but Ricardo is chasing fast on ultras here. So Hamilton actually has had some sort of blunder. And Mercedes now have Ricardo as the first man, not Hamilton. So at some point, they kind of swap around, really. So Sainz has been overtaken there. Now it's a question of can we keep Ricardo at bay? He's clearly, though, on a more aggressive strategy. So I don't know. Maybe he's doing another extra stop. Uh, from here, so maybe he's got two more stops to do in this race, which wouldn't be a bad thing for us then. We are conserving. I'll go to neutral now with both drivers, and Raikkonen at the moment now finally has enough fuel to push a little bit. Raikkonen does, uh, definitely does not have the easy on fuel perk, I can tell you that much. He's the same as Norris. Uh, Science, yeah, it's definitely a, an amazing perk that Science have, has to be easy on fuel here, with no refueling uh, in this uh, formula, because um, you can definitely tell when they're medium. The amount of fuel he saves is so quick. And also he doesn't burn it very quickly in high, whereas Raikkonen does. But, right. Just trying to keep this steady like this. Hopefully not lose the place to Ricardo. Hopefully don't lose the place to Fittipaldi there in P4. Uh, and we make it through to lap 18 or 19. But only time will tell. And, oh, another safety car. Are you kidding me? Two safety cars. Okay, where is Hamilton? Please say he crossed... Yes, he crossed it. So he didn't have time to come into the pit lane. But he's going to pit. I would say... Well, he's going to pit because he's worn out his softs ma mega time. What on earth has he done with his softs? Um, I think let's pit as well. We may as well get a free pit stop again onto softs. Uh, even if Ricardo doesn't pit, I think it'll be worth it again to pit, uh, pit under it. So, tyre choice, that one, new, good, fast, good. That's also, with the four-second gap here, hopefully the double stack won't hinder science as much as it did last time. So, let's see. Into the pit lane, Ricardo goes across into first. That's fine. Make the pit stop. Please be fast enough. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, good double stack. Good stuff there. Didn't even, didn't even phase science's pit stop. And we're still P2 and 3. 
That is, yeah, fantastic call there to come under the, under the safety car. Good stuff, lads. Right, uh, protect these tyres, and we bunch up, and uh, then we see where we go from there. Right, they're going to come in very, very soon. It's going to go overtake mode now. Bang on, spot on there. Let's see, Science is looking a little bit dangerous there. Let's hope these two don't really uh, push each other too hard there. We want to try and catch Ricardo. That's the main thing here. But let's see how this progresses then. Can we catch Ricardo? He's on ultras, remember. So the compound is going to be faster. It's going to heat up faster as well. So kind of to be expected that he's actually right now pulling away from us a little bit. But we're still P2 and 3. Hamilton, though, look at him go. Nearly dive Science. He's on ultras as well. So the Mercs are trying much more aggressive strategy here. Uh, and I don't know which way to go about it. I don't know what we're actually doing here. Can we go to the end of the race? 16 laps to 18. We could technically go to the end here. So I think we should cautiously go ahead and try and get through to the end of the race, really, instead of, try instead of trying another pit stop. Because I think Merck are definitely going to have to pit. And right now, we don't have the pace against Merck because we're on, obviously, the soft tyre versus ultra. So I think the best bet is trying to see this through to the end of the Grand Prix. So in that stead, let's go conserve. Let's just keep this calm and try and extend this stint as much as we can. So Hamilton may come through, but we're going to try and just hold this as much as we can. Right, 15 laps remain. 74% tyre wear for both drivers. We've been pushing sides a little bit harder on the fuel because I know I can save a little bit more compared to Raikkonen. We're still P2, so Raikkonen's done really well to soak up this pressure against Hamilton. Um, it's just a case of... Oh, no! Oh, my. He was on conserve as well, and he crashed. I think we're cursed, lads. I think we're cursed. One of our cars has to crash something and re What? Oh, my Lord. Science has crashed. It, you can't write this stuff. Of course, on the debut... Our new driver is the one that's going to do better and get the podium, maybe. And Science is the one that crashes now. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. This is going to be a real tough season now. Jesus. We can't keep dropping points like this. Merck are just going to run away with it. Now it's two against one. Oh, Lord. Right. Um, right, we continue on like this, basically. Just trying to keep Hamilton at bay. How much longer, though? And I need to also push enough to... Uh, get ahead of Ricardo as well. That's the thing as well here. And Raikkonen just ran wide. Raikkonen, you just saw that. Raikkonen ran wide in the same place Science crashed, and he's now been overtaken by Hamilton. What's going on here? Right, Ricardo's in, and he's going to be ahead of us, isn't he? No, he's he's behind us, but he's on super softs. Jesus. Right. Right, we're going to the end here. We're going to the end. That's that's the plan, but just got to try and conserve this and keep things calm. Right. Oh, Ricardo's there. We're going to we're gonna have to push the tyres a little bit now. Oh boy, 10 laps to go, and Ricardo's right there. We're one second faster, though, with that better lap time, but uh, is it going to be enough? Hamilton, is he going to pit soon? Yes, he does. So we're up into first place. Ricardo uh, is second. Hamilton is down to fourth place there. So for yet to make a pit stop here, but now we've got eight laps to go. Can we survive this? 44% tyre wear. I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. Right, lap 28. Parts are a little bit iffy on the front wing. Front wing is near red zone and the rear wing. So Raikkonen's got a failing car right now, but he's still P1. Just got to keep on going like this, mate, in clean air. Keep on going. Conserve. Also keep the tyre temps up, though. So you need to push a little bit as well, because now we've got worn tyres. Keep going, mate. Soft tyres. The cliff is quite large. It's, we've got a lot of time to go till the cliff. Just keep it going like this, mate. Keep it going. Fuel-wise, let's save some on this lap, please. Uh, lap 30, come on, keep going, mate, keep going, keep going, keep going, 21%, 20%, oh, Lord, front wing condition is low, rear wing condition is low, oh, my God, right, we got fuel, though, to save, keep going, mate, 31, keep going, mate, keep on surviving, the wings are iffy, the wings are very iffy, we move on to lap 32, please, Raikkonen, please, you can do this, mate, 13%, 12%, 10%. Oh, Ricardo's pushing now, but we're on towards the last lap of the Grand Prix. I say now we push like a stabbed rat and just push these tyres. Final lap, wing condition is low. Get away from the blue flag car. Use overtake mode on the back straight. No, Ricardo's got us. Ricardo's got us at the end. The, the tyres have hit the cliff. They've hit the cliff absolutely dead. They're absolutely dead. P2, though. Can we hold that through? Raikkonen. No, Hamilton overtakes us. And that was Hamilton in the first place. Hamilton got first. Not even that. Ricardo got second. Oh, my God. Merck, mate. Mercedes needs to piss off in this series, man. They're way too strong in this series. Way too strong. 
Third place. Ah. Nearly. Eight whole laps we held out to the last lap. That's what did it. Oh, boy. Jesus. Right. At least we got the podium, mate. That's good. I'm happy with that, at least. But, ah, oh, Merck. Just piss off, man. Merck, just piss off. No one likes you anyway. Right, so after that race then, Hamilton uh, did have a penalty. That's why he actually fell behind there. Ironically, he still came through for the win, jammy bastard. So we come through. P3, though, first podium for Raikkonen for the team, which is good. He's up into P9. He's already chasing after Lando Norris then. That's quite awkward in the championship standings. Where did Norris actually come in that race then? Uh, Norris came P9. Exactly where he would have come for us, probably. Or actually, he would have, he would have been the one that's cr uh, that crashed. Let's be real. Uh, I think we're cursed now. I think we're actually cursed. I think one of our cars has to always crash in a race, it seems like. It's just stupid. Uh, so, 35 points to Hamilton. Well, obviously, we're not focused on this. We're focused on this, which is 53 points. Merck need to be stopped. Ferrari need to pull their socks up and start taking points off them. Otherwise, we're we're done for. Because right now, it's a fight of P2 between me and Ferrari rather than P1. Which makes some sense because we're fighting Red Bull last season for P3. And then so you would say P2 this year for uh, with Ferrari. And then next year, P1 with Merck. But I don't know. Because when it's starting with two wins in three races, I just thought, okay, maybe we can actually start a championship fight this season. But it's just fallen apart a bit. It's just fallen apart. So that has been one eventful Canadian GP episode. 1.6 million in the bank. We're taking obviously less money home now because we're paying Raikkonen so much. And we'll take in even less money once we start paying that new mechanic uh, we're going to hire for Raikkonen as well. All in all, I'm happy with Raikkonen's debut. That was good. I, lo I loved what I saw there. Really unfortunate and just horrendous luck we're getting, it seems, in this career mode. With signs there crashing this time around. Next one is the home GP for the team. The British GP. Hopefully that is a double good one for both and uh, let's all just pray everyone pray in the comments that Merck have some sort of issue or start getting slower or Ferrari speed up because we need something to take points off them because we, we can't keep having this but guys if you did enjoy this episode then Raikkonen's debut then be sure to hit that like button let me know what you thought in the comments below if you're on your own here do subscribe for weekly full-on content I've been over let me just stay I'll see you guys next time goodbye